everybody, welcome to my keto kitchen. It is Saturday, February 22nd at 1 p.m. and I am going to be making some really great stuff today. We are going to make mock Cheddar Bay biscuits that you get at Red Lobster. And these things are fantastic. I did a little mock run last night and I got them um, tested out and my family ate the whole 12 of them that I made last night. So. As you're hopping on, say hey, so I know that you're here. I'm gonna get started in just a minute. I got my ingredients ready and I've got my oven warming up so that way you guys can um, see how they're made and get, get an idea of the fact that even though the keto lifestyle is something a lot of people are not accustomed to, you can become accustomed to it. You just have to think outside of the box. And this morning I did exactly that. I took this recipe for these Cheddar Bay biscuits and I turned it into an everything bagel biscuit, which all my friends know I love the everything bagel seasoning, but I also love Asiago bagels. So I did a little combination of both the everything bagel seasoning mix and the Asiago um, by putting in some cheeses into mine and I made a really great tray of those as well And I'll give you that secret recipe when we're done for today, but as you're hopping on say hey, so I know that you're here and um, That way I can get started and give me just a minute. I'm gonna turn on my um, I'm turning on my Wi-Fi for y'all And please forgive my dogs in the background Girls. And I'm going to get started in just a second. And we're going to do this keto kitchen. And I'm just trying to get my Wi-Fi flipped over, guys. Sorry. I'm having... I want to make sure nothing comes... Okay. There we go. Girls. Hang on one second. Let me shut my front door. Because I don't want them to continue barking. Today we're making mock um, Cheddar Bay biscuits, the kind that you get at Red Lobster, and I'm also going to give you a secondary recipe for everything bagel um, biscuits, where you just change up some of the seasonings and turn it into an everything bagel. So I'm going to get started. This recipe is not mine. This was actually shared by one of our Bike Club members on Simple Proven Results. And if you want to become part of Simple Proven Results, so you can see some of the recipes I'm cooking. Just drop a line and say, add me to SPR, and I'll be happy to add you in. If you would, please like, you can comment and share me. If you click on my face, you can follow me. So you can follow me, and every time that I do a keto kitchen, it'll come up. I try to do one about every two weeks right now with my work schedule until it changes, and then um, I'm going to try and, and go in and do one a week for you guys. So today, this was a request by Amanda um, Sanderson, who asked me to make this recipe, she sent me a request to make these Cheddar Bay Biscuits, so we're going to get started. So this recipe calls for one and a half cups of super fine almond flour. This is the almond flour I use. It's a Walmart brand, but you want to make sure that it says super fine almond flour, because this recipe really does call for, you don't want to be, you don't want to taste the chunkies inside of it or the grittiness, like kind of like grits feeling. And then you're gonna need salt, and I use sea salt. That's the only salt I use. You're gonna need aluminum-free baking powder, and it should say aluminum-free baking powder on it. You'll also need um, garlic powder for this recipe, so you wanna make sure that you have the garlic powder. You will need um, two eggs. You'll also need a half a cup of sour cream which I've already got my stuff pre-measured out so that way I won't take up too much of your time because I know it is a Saturday, guys. Um, you'll also need four tablespoons of unsalted butter and a half a cup of shredded cheddar treat cheese. So I've pre-measured my stuff out. I do three quarters of a cup. Um, my mock run yesterday with these, my family said they wanted more cheese in them. So this is three quarters cups of white 
sharp cheddar cheese. I like the white one better than I do the yellow. And then you're gonna make a garlic topping to go on top of these, and they are phenomenal. I, we fell in love with this last night. So with that, you're gonna need two tablespoons of salted butter. I used three. I found that two didn't cover all of them. And you'll need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and parsley. Now the recipe calls for one tablespoon of parsley. I cut it back. I'm not a huge parsley fan. I like a little bit, but I don't like to taste it as much as others do. So I did, I cut that recipe in half. So I'm going to get started with one. You have to mix all of your dry ingredients in a, um, in a bowl and you want to whisk it around. So here I have all of the flour, salt, baking powder, and garlic powder. And I've put them all in and they're all whisked together. And that way I got them already ready for you guys. And then you're gonna take your wet ingredients and I'm gonna turn you around so you can see. We're gonna take the wet ingredients and we're gonna put them in my mixer. Again, I love my mixer, I use it quite often. So you're gonna mix your eggs, sour cream, and the butter. The four tablespoons of unsalted butter. So you put that in. And then I put my eggs in. Got a little shell in there. And then I do my sour cream, which I use a flat paddle for because it makes it easier to get that stuff out of your cups. So then you're gonna put the sour cream in. And you're gonna mix this stuff up. So I use a whisk. I use my whisk paddle for this one. And I turn it on and I let it get nice and... You wanna let it get um, mixed really well. It's gonna look a little bumpy, but not a whole lot. And the butter needs to be at room temperature. You want it to be soft. You can melt it as well if you don't have soft butter and it's something you want to make in a hurry. So I'm turning it up a little bit to get the whisk. It'll break down the sour cream a little bit. And then after you mix this together, which I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to pull you a little closer. So you can see, that's what it looks like. It's not chunky or anything, it's just a well mixed recipe. Then you're gonna add in to that, you will mix in the batter. So I pour it in just like this. Get that out of the way. Drop it down and then I mix it again. Now, I've already preheated my oven to 450. You want to make sure your oven's preheated. And while that's mixing, you're going to need a muffin tray like this. And I use avocado oil. And I spray it on like that. And then I use a paper towel. And I clean the tops first and then I go in and circle it around. I want to make sure that inside each one of the muffins there's oil and I suggest only using avocado or um, you really don't want to use vegetable oil. We don't use any vegetable oils in keto. We mainly use avocado. So I've oiled my tin so it's ready when my dough is ready. So now the batter is good and mixed. I'm going to turn it so you can see it and put you down. So now this is where I mix in my cheese. And I add my cheese right into it. It'll mix it up nice and good and I give it like another minute just to mix that cheese in. 
And this recipe is fairly quick. Um, it is a very quick recipe. It doesn't take hardly any time at all to do. Um, I just like to get it all off my paddles. This recipe is, um, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes tops and it takes 10 minutes to 12 minutes depending on your oven to cook. So I'm going to turn you back up a little bit here so you can see. So I usually dig out about this much. So you guys can get an idea. They say a quarter cup. So I did this, I've done it twice now. So this is about a quarter cup and you place it down inside the tray like this. Now, I took this recipe this morning and converted it from Cheddar Bay Biscuits to, um, I made everything bagel biscuits with cheese. And I changed the cheese as I put in it. I still use the shark, but then I also added in um, Parmesan and I used my everything bagel seasoning in it and they were fantastic. And I'll share that recipe with you as well. It's just changing your seasonings around a little bit. I did still leave the garlic in it though. So again, as you're hopping on, say hey, so I know you're here. So I'm gonna get, you should get about 12 out of this mixture. That's what I got last time. And it takes 10 minutes in the oven to do. So as you're hopping on, say hey, so I know you're here. Anybody here with me have boys? Raising boys, raised boys. We talk about how difficult it is to have boys. Everybody says it's difficult to have girls. I don't believe that. I think I would rather have a girl. My female dogs listen better than my kids do. So, now we got them all in there. And you want to make sure that they're down inside the, and I even go through and double scrape my bowl because um, almond flour and coconut flour are not cheap. And I like to get every bit out of mine. So, now you, I go through and I pat them down so that they're filling the cup really well because they're gonna come out like biscuits and they look and taste so good. So while they're cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make the topping that goes on them once you get them out and put them on a tray to serve. You make these for your guests, they won't even know they're keto, they taste just like Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I tried to get some beta testers here today to come try these for you guys so you could get an idea of how they actually taste, but everybody was busy. I know it's Saturday, so. All right, so this is how they should look when you're done. Hey, Priscilla, how are you doing, hon? So, here's your keto Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Now I'm gonna put these in the oven, and while they're cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make the topping. So I put those in the oven, and then I set a timer for 10 minutes. So give me one second, I'm gonna turn my timer on. So anybody here have boys? Anybody got boys? All right, so we've got a 10 minute timer. I'm just trying to make sure my, so at one, 
125, I'm gonna take those out of the oven. You guys are gonna see how good they look. So while we're doing that, I'm going to show you how to make the topping for them. So again, like, share me, tell me that you shared me. Drop in the comments that you shared me, share me to your page, share me to your friends. So the topping is made with butter, parsley, and garlic. So the topping you're gonna use, it says two tablespoons of salted butter melted. Now, I made these last night. I felt like two tablespoons was not enough to cover all the biscuits. I got 12 biscuits out of mine. So I use three now. So I use three tablespoons of butter and it's one tablespoon of parsley. I didn't use a tablespoon today. I, I'm not a big like, but it didn't taste bad. So they were pretty good. So one tablespoon of parsley and then you also are gonna use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And it comes like this. And we're gonna melt this real quick. And while we're melting it, I'll talk. Say hey as you're hopping on. I wanna talk about boys. Anybody got boys? I need somebody who has boys. Cause I'm frustrated with my boys. Anybody got boys out there? If you're hopping on and you have boys, let's talk about boys guys. Cause man, I'm tired of my boys. I love them, but I'm tired of them. And today only, if anybody's interested, I do have, and these are like the best thing in the world. I know y'all have been following me. I'm down over 40 pounds. So I have my five pack special on special today only. I have a five and a 10 pack. So if you're interested, in my five or ten pack um, drop better in the comments and I'll reach out to you afterwards so I have the five and ten pack on special two-day only as part of my keto kitchen deal yeah Teresa see you know what I'm talking about these guys are killing me I mean I love my kids but I'm tired they're beating me down they're not they don't want to clean up after themselves I gotta be on them all the time when does it ever stop? Does it ever stop? Anybody? Anybody got grown boys? Because mine are 20 and I want to choke them. Okay. So, yeah, let's talk about boys. Five brothers, Teresa. I don't know how you did it. Don't know how you did it. That's why all my animals are girls. Because my girls listen to me. My girls listen. All right. So now I've melted the butter and I've melted um, and the Parmesan and the garlic are all in there. So you can see this is what it looks like. It's a watery like mix and that's fine because it's melted butter. So we have, we have seven minutes and those muffins are going to be coming out and you guys have no idea. I wish you could smell them through the phone. Boys don't clean. Yeah, you're right. They don't clean. They don't even like to shower half the time. I have to remind them to shower. I do. I have to remind these kids to shower. It's insane. You're 20 years old. Well, not both of them, but still, I feel like hygiene should be something at this point. Like, we're trying to get ready for this. We're going on a cruise, and we're trying to get ready, and I have to make a list of the stuff they're going to need to bring for the cruise. Like, you guys should know by now what you need for a boat. I feel like it's a work. I feel like, girls, you don't have to do that. We just kind of get our shit together and move on. <laughs> so I try and make sure that I've got these good and stirred because this is my becoming my favorite recipe. And I don't know where my friend Amanda's at, but she's the one who requested this. And she's not even here watching. So, T, what was it like growing up with five boys in the house? Did they always play practical jokes on you? Oh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. With five of them, you probably, you and your sister probably, I can't believe there are seven of you. 
I saw a picture of you the other day um, at the concert you went to. You look good. I haven't seen you in forever. It's been a couple years. Next time I come down, we'll have to get together. I'll have to come by and see you. I don't get down as often as I did when we first moved back. I could tell. You have lost a lot of weight. That's a good amount of weight, 100 pounds. That's a lot for one person. But you look really good because I saw your picture the other day and I was like, wow, I almost didn't even recognize you. I didn't think it was you. I showed it to Ken and I was like, can you believe how much weight Teresa's lost? How did you do it? Because I know it's a work. It's a work in progress for me. But then again, too, you guys always know I've been fat most of my life. So it's going to probably take a good while to get it all off, you know. As you're hopping on, say hey so I know that you're here. We're talking about boys today. We're talking about anything. We can talk about it all. We're just waiting for the muffins to finish cooking. And as soon as these, or not muffins, these biscuits are done, I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to brush some um, parsley, butter, garlic on them. And then we're going to have Cheddar Bay biscuits. So say hi as you're hopping on. So anybody got any questions about my recipe, what we're cooking up today? I'm also going to drop in the comments my secondary recipe, which is um, I did a little twist on the Cheddar Bay by turning them into everything bagel. If you love everything bagel, you're going to love these biscuits. And they are keto friendly, low carb, which is fantastic. If you're on a low carb, that's where it is. Oh, wow. And it's weird because I know a few people who've had it and they just, um, they end up backtracking. They don't end up keeping the weight off. They end up gaining it back. But it looks like you've kept it off. You're looking really good. How's business been? I know you're kicking out them sheds like crazy down there. Let me check and see. Almost done. They are almost done. <laughs> you look like you've been really busy. I see you like pushing them sheds out like crazy down there. That seems to be the thing now. Everybody wants a shed in their yard. Instead of building a garage. Just add a shed. It's like the perfect thing for you. You got in when it was smart. It is cheaper. It really is. I think we had a client once in South Carolina that said they paid 35000 to build their one car garage. They had like a mobile home and they're on like three acres and they built a one car garage and it cost them $30,000 just for them to store their lawnmower and stuff in. So a lot of people do say it is cheaper to just buy the sheds. I mean, you can turn it into a little man cave. I can turn it into my keto kitchen. I can get one with a little front porch. All right, let's check these things and see. Almost, got about two minutes left, guys. They're almost done. When did you have the surgery? 
Say hey as you're hopping on. We're making Cheddar Bay Biscuits. They're almost done. I'm getting ready to pull them out of the oven. I'm going to put this beautiful butter parsley garlic on the top so they look just like the ones from Red Lobster. And then I'm going to share my recipe in the end. And just as everybody knows, this is not my recipe. The recipe belongs to someone else. I'm just cooking it because someone asked me to. Wow. I can't believe it's been that long. Well, you look great. Let's get ready. I'm going to get ready to um, baste these little biscuits real quick so everybody can see what they look like. Let's see what time it is. All right, so as you can see, they're done. This is what they look like when they come out. And what I do is I get a plate. From this side over here. And I take a knife and I'm gonna pull y'all a little closer so you can see. And I trim around the edges as soon as I pull them out so that they don't um, stick even though I have the spray in there it helps if you do because they still get a little stick to them and I don't know if that's because it's kind of like almost like a bisquick texture to these so I'm gonna peel these out I'm gonna pop one out oh, there we go there's one already popping out for you. Look at that. This one was, that one was a little loose too. This one's loose. There we go. I popped out the three loose ones. So, that's what they look like once you take them out. And then, I brush on the parsley mixture and that way they look, they look just like Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster and look at that. You can't mess with that. These come out perfect every time. I've made them three times now. So, this has become my new favorite bread recipe. Low carb, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, mock Red Lobster Biscuits. There we go. I will drop the recipe in my comments and I'll share it with you guys. And as a reminder, today only, I'm having my special on my five and 10 day trial packs. So if you want one, you gotta drop better in the comments and I'll reach out to you after my show. But it's gonna be today only till 11 p.m. And then after 11 p.m. I won't have them anymore. Today's my last day to do the five and 10 pack special. So again, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, Red Lobster style, they're mock, they're keto. Thanks for joining me on my Keto Kitchen. I hope everybody has a great Saturday. And just remember, I'm hashtag KetoBossGirl75. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you and have a good day. Thanks, Teresa. Talk to you later. Ah.